Okay, and I am back already. And we have Worcester here running Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on the Sega Genesis. One of the best games on the console. It definitely is one of the best games on the console. Uh, but we're actually not going to be playing it on the Sega Genesis, although it was released on the Sega Genesis. This is, actually, this is actually the re-release uh, in 2013 for mobile platforms. That has it, It's very similar, but it does have some key differences that's going to make the run um, a little bit different. So the one thing that I will say just before we get started here is... Uh, so this run was originally a backup for this schedule. Uh, and one of the runners had to pull out uh, after we went online and their game, their estimate was 25 minutes. And so when I submitted this as a backup, my estimate was actually 30 minutes, but the organizers of this event decided, no, you can do it in 25. So we believe I've, uh, I've been stitched up a little bit, but hopefully I can still do it in under 25 and pull through here. So if you're ready on the timer, I'll uh, count uh... you down. I, okay, yep, I'm good to go when you are. Okay, we'll get through this demo. We'll go back to the title screen. <clears throat> and we'll get going in three, two, one, go. Okay, so this is Sonic 2, and like all classic Sonic, it's all about going fast. So the first thing you'll notice here in the difference in the remake here is that I've got a fire shield. So the shields that are from Sonic 3 and Knuckles appear in this game. So the fire shield, the lightning shield, and the bubble shield. Okay, that was a really good first stage. 18 is exactly what I want. And so you got a good idea of kind of the speed that you move throughout this game and how it's all about keeping your momentum. So in that case, I was using all of the enemies and all the boxes there just to bounce along so I could keep moving right throughout the stage really quickly. Emerald Hill 2 is another really good example of that. Get the speed shoes right at the start of the stage, which increases your speed, and then hopefully get some nice momentum all the way throughout. This is a very difficult stage to do fast, though. So just jump off the spring here. It also does have a little bit of a random jump here that we call spring jump. Oh, beautiful, got it. Uh, see, I got really unlucky there with that ramp. The platform was just at the worst possible position that it, I, I entered the uh, the loop-to-loop -loop there at the highest possible point, so I couldn't keep my momentum. And so another critical part of this speedrun is Tails. So ideally on this boss, Tails is going to get hits 5 and 6. He only got hit 5. Bad Tails. So... Throughout this run, if you're in chat and you want to have a bit of fun, I want you to keep track of how many times Tails is good and how many times Tails is a troll in this run. And you can mark that one down for troll. He did not do what he was supposed to. So one of the other differences that you can see that I'm doing here is Tails, you can actually force Tails to fly and carry you. Uh, and that is going to be used in quite a few stages throughout this run. All right, so moving on to Chemical Plant. Chemical Plant is a good time to talk about how different objects in this game have different timers. So there are two main types of timers. One is universal timer, which means it starts as soon as the stage starts. So like this block is a universal timer. So even if I'd done the start of the stage there a little bit faster, I still wouldn't have saved any time. Quickly do that jump, beautiful. But then this little blue goop here, that's on a camera timer. So that doesn't start moving until it's within the camera boundaries. So if you start running across, no matter what time you get there, that blue goop will just shoot out and hit you every single time. Okay, Chemical Plant 2. So Chemical Plant 2 is the first time we're going to see that uh, Tails actually carrying me here. So I'm going to stop a little bit, stop and prop, and then have Tails catch me. Again, there's another universal timer here, so it doesn't really matter how fast I do the start of this stage. So stop here. It's easier to get him to catch you if you start on flat ground instead of trying to get him to carry you on a hill. That can be quite tricky. But so these little blocks here are on a universal, so I have to... Ooh, <laughs> spin dash a little bit too early there, but that's fine. Oh, I nailed that jump there. Up to the start of the stage. I'm a bit concerned because I lost a little bit of time about these platforms. Okay, good. And I got a nice jump height for the boss here too. If you jump a bit too high there when you're bouncing on him, uh, you leave a little bit of hit, uh, hitbox and then Tails can actually get one of the hits. And if Tails gets one of the hits, because the boss, all the bosses, they end up having basically invincibility frames like you get after each hit. 
you actually fall through the boss. And then because those platforms below the boss uh, go on and off, you can actually end up dying. So Aquatic Ruin, what I want you to pay attention to here is how the floor is hilly. It's got really small up and down hills. And so this actually changes uh, how high and how far you jump quite a lot. Because if you're jumping on an uphill, you get a lot of extra height when you're jumping. And it's really critical for this jump here. Okay, that's pretty good. Yep, straight to the speed shears. Uh, did not want to hit that enemy there. Ooh, that was a bit... <laughs> I got hit by the uh, little spike arrow shooting out there as well. Uh, but yeah, so you've got to pay... If you Even if you look at it now, you can see how small those hills are on the ground, just up and down. So you have to time your jumps very precisely to get one of those uphills. Because if you get a downhill, you get much less jump height than usual. And it has big consequences on how high and how far you'll be able to jump. Aquatic Ruin 2, so just a small spin dash here. Oh, that's just going to land on that platform. Got to wait for that to carry me over here. A few jumps. I really don't want to fall to the bottom part of this stage. I want to stay on the top route. I'm going to use the Fire Shield here as well. So the Fire Shield, it's got this little uh, dash that you can use in the air just for a bit of extra speed, which is very helpful when you're doing big platforming stages. I just touched that little platform there, which carried me over a little bit. Stopped my falling momentum, which was really good. Figure this boss out. Beautiful. Just try and do a little bit of a setup here to pop the capsule. Nah, just a bit short. But that's fine, 39's good. So I could talk about spin dashing a little bit. So spin dashing, you've got to stop, crouch, and then hit the buttons, and then you can start spin dashing. There's a lot of different spin dash speeds determined by how many times you hit the button and how quickly you let go of down after hitting all the buttons. But okay, moving into Casino Night, this is another stage where I really want to stay on the top path, and it's probably my worst stage in the game, I must say. There is one jump here that's really consequential, and it's quite tricky, because you have to keep um, really fast momentum moving to the right, and then you have to do a really specific jump height as well. This is it here. Okay, I got it. Beautiful. Staying on the top route. See if I can get the descent here as well. This is really quite tricky positioning. Yeah, I didn't quite get it perfectly there. You can see there's a lot of uh, like bumpers and obstacles just in general there that prevent you from trying to go down as you want. Okay, so when we speedrun uh, Classic Sonics, um, we typically use the in-game time. Obviously for a marathon, we're just using real time. But so you can see the time bonus sticking down here. It takes forever if you finish a stage in under 30 seconds. So if I was aiming for real time, it would be faster to finish that stage in 30 seconds than 29, which is quite a bit silly when you're trying to go fast. So I'm still just aiming for in-game time, even for this run. So Casino Night 2, this is another quite tricky stage. It also has one of the coolest, actually, no, I'm not gonna lie, the coolest boss strat if you get it correctly, but it does depend on Tails. And so you may not actually get to see it because Tails, as we've already started to learn and will learn throughout this run, is a troll. Okay, let's see if Tails can drop here. Get an extra hit on this bumper. Good, Tails! All right, one to one. Oh, this is not good. I'm getting destroyed by these bumpers. Bad me. Hello? Get over there. Thank you. All right, so I want Tails to respawn on this elevator. And he did not. Okay. <laughs> Bad Tails. One to two. Let's see if I can get him to fall down here with me. Is he here? All right, let's see if we can get this set up. Want him to land on that flipper, transfer to this one. And then Tails is actually gonna get all of the hits on this boss just by staying on this flipper. Cause Robotnik's gonna continue to crouch down to pick him up, but Tails is invincible basically because he keeps getting hit, but then stuck back to the flipper. And so with invincibility frames, because he's in ball form, he can actually hit Robotnik. And so that's a really fast way to do that boss. Without that setup, that boss takes a really long time because there's so many obstacles and you just can't keep bouncing on him like a lot of the other bosses. All right, so moving on to what I would call the mid game now, Hilltop. Uh, the mid game is, oh, oh no, <laughs> that's fine, uh, is a lot about platforming. It's pretty difficult to actually keep consistent speed. So you've just got to platform really well. You've got to go through a lot of these little jumps like this and knowing when to stop and spin dash as you can. I'm going to pick up the fire shield here. This little segment is quite tricky. Have I got it? Oh, he's got it. Beautiful. Okay. Over here. Spin dash. 
Gotta wait for this. Gotta wait just a little bit longer than you might think there, because you can get crushed, even though the wall is going up there. If you jump in too quickly, you can actually get crushed, because Sonic's uh, height is actually smaller when he's in ball form. So if you're in ball form, then you land on the ground, and then you stand up, you can then get crushed. Okay, heals up too. This is a really nice platforming stage if you do it correctly. And the stage has amazing music. Uh, ooh, in my opinion. Ooh, that, that's a that's a hot opinion to me. A, a lot of the stages have um, quite good music. Hilltop's probably not one of my favorites there. So just use the insta shield there um, quite nicely just to get a bounce off that enemy. Ooh, this is going well. This is going well. Oh, want to spin that shear? I believe that shield also wasn't in the original Sonic 2. Yes, so this is the lightning shield. So it's uh, a... No, I meant the... Uh... Oh, the Insta Shield. The Insta Shield. Yeah. Yes, that that's also from um, Sonic Three and Knuckles. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna count this as a Tails troll. I wanted him to be here. I had to wait for him to show up. So I'm actually gonna have Tails carry me over this boss. So this is one of two bosses in this game that you can actually skip just by having Tails carry you over it. Basically, there's just no um, boundary that stops you from doing that. You can actually still have the boss load here, it didn't, because you didn't hear the boss music. But you just skip over it and land straight onto the capsule. So that's good. Alright, moving on to Mystic Cave 1. More platforming, so they're going to pick up the lightning shield straight away here. And just use these double jumps to good effect. Going to waste just a little bit of time here because I don't want these spikes to hit me. Where I landed there, there are some retractable spikes that if you go too fast, they will hit you. Sneak in this little gap here, above this bridge. Just made it through there. Oh, 31, that's beautiful. 31's perfect for that stage. Really happy with that. Uh, one of the other additions into this stage is they did add Hidden Palace as an optional zone. You actually enter it through this next stage, Mystic Cave 2, by falling down, but it is optional, so I'm not going to be doing it because optional is slow. Okay. Just going to walk through here because i got the platform. Yeah, so there are quite a few different spin dash strengths that I use here. So that's a max, that's a three, that's a one, etc. So you've got to know exactly what strength you want to be using. So this boss is slightly random. Those things falling from the roof, it's random what pattern that you get there. But that was a good one. I got good access all the way to Robotnik. Uh, so ideally, Tails actually gets their eighth hit there because you can only get seven before you get hit. Tails did not get the 8th hit, so I'm going to mark that down as a Troll Tails again. And so we're now we're moving on to Oil Ocean. So the oil in this game is actually very different to the original as well. So you can't spin Nash on the oil. So it means the momentum that you take into the oil is really, really crucial. Because you can't gain any momentum on the oil. So the oil there is where I am now. If you sink too far into it, you die. But you need to sink into it a little bit to get under, like, these little platforms here. Alright, that's good. See, I was very close to actually uh, falling too far into the oil and dying there before I did that jump there. But we're all good. Ooh, land on this. And it'll take me to the end. Alright, not too bad. Okay, Oil Ocean 2. So this is the second level where I'm able to actually skip the boss by having Tails fly over. Uh, basically, the entirety of this level, if I'm doing it correctly, is I'm trying to manipulate Tails to show up as soon as uh, I need him to fly me to the end of the stage. But Tails does not always cooperate, so I want Tails to spin dash the opposite direction there. Beautiful. Okay, now Tails should fly here. I don't want him to drop now. That's good. He's still flying. He'll spin dash in the opposite direction again. Then I'm going to land on this balloon. Okay, so this is going well so far. And turn around. Take this spring. Uh, I don't think Tails has done what I want here, because I want him to despawn there, or drop there, and he didn't. 
So this doesn't look like it's going to be a good Tails. So I've done this stage well, and I need Tails now. At 37, I got there. Where is Tails? Cost me five seconds. Good lord. And then I'm going to try and drop. Ah, I just missed the capsule there. That's a shame. So, that's definitely another Troll Tails. Mark him down again. And so I now we're, track. <laughs> we're moving on to now uh, the end game. So this is Metropolis. So Metropolis is the longest and the hardest stages in the game, I would say. And also do need Tails to cooperate, ideally. So pick up the Lightning Shield here. Got to do this really quickly to not die. Beautiful. That was very close. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to wait for these platforms here. Uh, maybe I'm not. All good. Jump over here. Hopefully jump and hit this spring. Beautiful. Move my momentum downwards so I can go straight up to those bumpers. And so these little corkscrews here, um, if Tails is with you, they move twice as fast because he moves their momentum as well. I actually don't want that to happen there. I went a bit too early there. Uh, oh, Tails dropping there is kind of okay. I think he'll respawn here. Yes. So I'm going to wait for Tails and... What? Fly, my man. Yeah. So here is actually where I want Tails. Uh, I'm not going to mark that down as good or troll. That's just normal. Okay, so I didn't get lucky ramp there. You see that lamp, that ramp just kind of rejected me and just sent me straight back down. So you can actually get your momentum so that you move a little bit up that ramp and then I would jump off it and just save a couple of handful of seconds there. But still not, not too bad not overly bad metropolis is also the only zone in the game that has three acts so you won't see the boss until act three oh, good excellent so that the insta shield just gives you a tiny little bit of invincibility basically so you could see it there i just like popped that crab with the invincible uh the insta shield yeah i had no idea how that worked as a kid <laughs> okay i don't think i was alone in that <laughs> oh that was very lucky oh no no <laughs> oh. So I just had the cycles um, a little bit wrong, so that the spike there uh, was actually facing upwards. I thought I'd uh, wasted enough time that that wouldn't happen, so that's a shame. Uh, I've lost my lightning shield here, which is not good. <laughs> I really want the lightning shield for this stage. I need Tails to respawn here for me, just carry me over. Whatever. Yeah, losing the lightning shield here is very consequential, because there's a lot of... Getting hit there was uh, actually good. It was not on purpose, but it was good. <laughs> Need these bumpers. Yeah, so like I want to be using double jumps here, etc. Just to go up these platforms quicker. But I'm just going to wait for it instead. Oh, good. We got through the stage. We didn't die, so it's all good. Oh, so that was Metro 2. So now Metro 3. Uh, Metro 3 has a universal cycle at, the, cycle at the start that's very, very tight to make the cycle. So if I do these first 18 seconds of this stage really, really well, I save quite a bit of time. That's good. It's also, it's really uh, tricky, the movement, especially in those first four seconds there. Beautiful, made it. Okay. Also, Tails just jumped through that platform. <laughs> if you're paying attention there. Oh, uh, what is he doing? Okay. Just gonna... Ooh. I was trying to hit the wall there to just stop my momentum straight away, but that's all good. Pick up the lightning shield, jump down here. So you can see, like, how I got a lot of speed there. That's just, like, speed transference from jump having decent jump height and then landing on a ramp like that. I want to just jump over this crab. Beautiful. Pop this guy. And now we want Tails to come back. That's good. No, Tails, get on. Because I need to spin dash with Tails. So this goes at double the speed. And then I'm going to have Tails carry me up for the rest of it. Okay. Tails is also very consequential for this boss. Oh, no, that's not going to make it. That's not going to make it. I'm dead. <laughs> it's okay. There's a checkpoint, like, right before then. So that's only going to cost me, like, one second. It's not a big deal. Do need to make sure that I pick up at least a couple of rings there. 
Just gonna wait for this boss to hit me so I can pick up two hits here. And now Tails is gonna get the rest of the hits ideally. Get another one. Uh, I, I actually wanted him to hit the ground there so we could start flying again. That's not too bad though. And get the capsule. Okay, 146 is actually not that bad a time. Even with the death, that's probably better than an average uh, Metro 3 for me. Because like I'm happy just getting under two minutes there. You can see these little dudes just still staying active even though I've taken out the boss. And okay, so there's only three stages left in the game. And the first of which, those three, is Sky Chase. So Sky Chase is an auto-scroller. It takes over two minutes. And so this is generally a very fast-paced game. This is a big uh, change from that, watching the auto-scroller. And so this is also the only point of the game where I don't have something to say. So I'm going to throw over to Mega Slayer if okay. you've got anything to go. Uh, unfortunately, we do not currently have any donations, but I would like to remind people of the incentives they could be donating towards. For example, the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time file name, which right now just has, I believe that is, yes, $60 towards Melvin. Me, personally, I hope it stays that way, but if you don't like the name Melvin, and you disgust me if you don't, uh, you can try and change it. But if you do like the name Melvin, you can boost it up higher and higher and be a legend in my heart. Uh, the Charon uh, super boss for Hades has been met, so good work on that, everyone. Uh, and there is still the Fantasy Zone, in, uh, which is including an extra game, and we might get to see Pinchy suffer, or we might get to see Pinchy overcome his last attempt at this game at an ASM. All right, thanks um, for that. Um, I just... Oh, you go, sure. you go, you go. I was just going to okay. say that there is still $383.69 left on that Fantasy Zone game, so get working on that one. All right, too good. Yeah, we still got 30 seconds on this auto scroll. So, so the only thing that I wanted to mention here is kind of like the lore of like, so all of these robots, they've actually got animals inside of them, and so you can see that when you uh, take one of them out and an animal gets freed. But I'm actually, I'm a pacifist. And so in this stage, I will not be taking out any of the robots because you're in the air, you're in the clouds. And so if you free like these turtles, they're probably not going to enjoy the ride down. So I think just for the moment, they can stay in their mechanical shells and I'll free them later. Okay. Uh, one donation did come in from Neo. He has a question for you, Worcester. Oh, here we go. Do you like Vegemite? I am actually allergic to Vegemite, so I'm going to go with no. <laughs> uh, I hate the stuff personally. All right, so Wing Fortress. So this stage is awesome in this version, in my opinion. So you get the Lightning Shield, and then I'm gonna go get these Speed Shoes and then head backwards. And then if I do this correctly, oh, I'm, yeah, I just messed up the timing there. That's a shame. Just take these platforms this way. Hopefully I can keep the Speed Shoes uh, as far as I need them and just jump over the stage like this. Beautiful. Pop this and then into the boss. And so this boss with the lightning shield is also a lot easier because I can just hit him. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful. Got the one cycle, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Just wait for these lights to go down. And then we can move on to the very last stage in this run, which is Death Egg. So kind of mechanically, in case you don't understand how Sonic games work in terms of uh, when you die, when you get hit. Uh, if you do not have any rings, you die. If you do have a ring, you just lose all of your rings and the rings scramble everywhere. And in Death Egg, the last stage that I'm going to be doing here, there are no rings. So any death, any death, any hit is a death. And so there are two bosses here. The first one's not too bad, but the second one is infamously quite difficult, especially for casual players of this game. Uh, had a lot of trouble beating Death Egg. Unlike a lot of the other bosses where you can just bounce on them and get lots of hits repeatedly, you can't bounce on this boss. So you have to get all of the 12 hits um, organically, I guess. And so I'm going to be trying to do the boss in one cycle, which is called a 12-0, basically, because you get all 12 hits in the first cycle. And it, it requires pretty good speed control and positioning um, just to be able to get into his hitbox straight away when you can start hitting him. So that's the first boss. Nice and easy. Just wait a little bit to get this little gate skip here. Alright, and here's the final boss. Hopefully I can get this. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. Got him. And time's coming up in three seconds, and that's time. Well, you managed to get under your 25-minute estimate. Oh, beautiful. 23.36. Oh, beautiful. That, I'm actually pretty happy with that run. Um, that actually went a lot better than all of the practice runs that I was doing just beforehand. Um, uh, uh, only had that one little, like, one-second death in Metro 3, so I'm really happy with that. And our final Tails count is one Tails good, five tails trolls and three bad worsters uh tails so i'm happy to say tails cost me more time than i cost me so sonic's the mvp tails is bad so i hope you guys uh enjoy that run it was it was pretty nice nice and fast paced i really love classic sonic speedrunning. it's I, I mean the games are just made for speedrunning, so they're absolutely fantastic and these remakes um are quite underrated i feel i actually quite enjoy running both sonic 1 and 2 uh on the remakes and i think they're getting a re-release for like a lot of other platforms sometime next year so hopefully more people start picking up this version of the game and start running it because it's good fun cool uh, any shout outs you'd like to make before we take ourselves to intermission once again uh shout outs to the one good effort the tails made i can't remember when that was but shout outs to that um, <laughs> i think it was in the se I, I i can't remember i think it was in the second stage so yeah maybe plant. um well but yeah uh i mean shout outs to everybody who's been watching and donating uh it's been fantastic we've still got you know another day and a little bit uh, left we do have a question from atomic caleb in chat is there a discord for the, these specific sonic variants uh no uh it's there there's a, just a general, sonic in general yeah there's just a general sonic speedrunning um community and i'm sure you can find that on the the sonic the, yeah uh, it'll be sonic on the speedrunning page. page yeah and if you do want like help with these games as well you can always just like dm me and stuff because um uh, i've definitely put more time into these versions of the game than other people at this stage so i'm really hoping more people pick it up because there is a huge scene around plus classic sonic speedrunning because they are great speedrunning games. They're just great games in general. Yeah, I agree. Okay, uh, well that was Worcester running uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on the uh, on the Android variants of the game. Uh, coming up next, we have a Splatoon 2 race between Aeon Frodo and Duck 700. Uh, stick around for that. <laughs> 